Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for May 2021 though. I am releasing these a little bit early so really from when they're released to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. So what do we have for Gemini please in terms of money, career, finances? For May 2021, please, Angel Spirits Guides, what does Gemini need to hear? So we have the Hermit. I'm going to pull one more card with that. We have the Death card, card of Scorpio. So Virgo and Scorpio. Sometimes that might be part of your sign, can be part of somebody else's sign. Okay, so let's pull another card, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Message for Gemini. Oh, lovely. We've got spirit guide. Isn't that beautiful? You're being guided by spirit. Lovely energy there. Message for Gemini, thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, thank you. Okay. Well, this is very you, Gemini. <laughs> Unlimited ideas. Yeah, and remember that. For some reason, you're being reminded about this. Uh, we have, your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas, guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Yeah, very much your card, I think. Lovely energy there. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull five cards, starting with the challenge position. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, Money, Career Only, thank you. For May 2021, Message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. Money and Career Only. May 2021, thank you. Okay, what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? For Gemini. Yeah, the devil. It's in your challenge position. I like the devil in a challenge position. Seven. There's the unlimited ideas. <laughs> we have the seven of cups. Yes. Ten of pentacles, Gemini, is any obstacles to overcome. Four of Cups reversed. Now that's a poignant energy. That's the advice from Spirit. And your outcome, we have the Six of Swords. Lovely, that really nice energy. Okay. I did look at the bottom of the deck, the chariots. I'm going to put that down. I don't always look at the bottom of the deck for these readings, but um, I did do, so I'm going to put it down. Okay. Yeah. Love this energy. Because the devil can make us feel powerless. Things are beyond our control. We're like puppets on a string. Can represent unhealthy relationships. Or feeling trapped in a certain situation. That You know, it can be shadow energy. You know, uh, negative energy. So unhealthy relationships can be to do with power struggles, manipulation, codependency, call it what you will. And that can be to do with business, career, finances, you know. The devil can represent a person as well. But it's interesting because in the challenge position, you are releasing from the limiting energies of the devil. The hold it had over you, you are detaching from. And what do we have at the end of your reading? Detachment. Yeah. Also liberation energy with, be, with it being Aquarian. Um, so, yeah. Open your mind. 
You have more opportunities out there than you realise, Gemini. This is a really beautiful energy of focusing on new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And why are you doing that? Well, I'm just going to go over to these cards now because something has ended. You know, the, the death card is about an ending and feeling trapped in a situation. Uh, thinking things are beyond your control, bigger than your capability to deal with, you know, all of this kind of energy. Um, we can have our own demons as well, you know, our own negative demons that keep us stuck in that feeling of, of things are beyond our control, um, the negativity possessing us, that kind of energy. But the death card is a card of liberation as well. There has been some kind of ending here, but this is about out with the old, embracing the new. It's the card of shedding an old skin, which is why I do feel for some of you, whatever this devil represented, you're releasing from it because it is time to emerge once more and rise like the phoenix does in its true light, in its new colors, having shed an old skin. So it feels very, very poignant, this card for you. I'm getting the energy, this journey, whatever you're going on, and it does feel like a journey, it will be the making of you because you are being guided every step of the way to make the right judgment calls for you. And that is what the hermit is. It is healing from whatever this ending was, but it's also finding the light from within. You're being lit up from within, illuminated, given wisdom from source. God, the universe, the divine is within that lamp, lighting you up, aligning you in terms of how you now need to take action in your external environment and liberate from whatever that devil was for you. Yeah. Because there are new hopes, new dreams, new wishes, doors to open, possibilities to pursue out there in the ether waiting to be anchored beautiful energy there gemini the ten of pentacles is a virgo energy so this is about really you know, sometimes there's a, a non-conformist attitude here. You know, sometimes it's about going against the norm. Sometimes it's about pursuing paths that you might not have considered pursuing before. You know, there's an unconventional energy, interestingly enough, with the Hermit card. But it feels for some of you, you are being guided towards the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of material success, um, financial security, wealth, goal achievement for some of you. Uh, now, in terms of obstacles to overcome, it feels in this situation this is knowing your capability to deliver this. You know, knowing your capability from within to deliver this in your external environment. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is, can be a goal. It can, it's a ten, which is a completion. It's the goal. It's the end of the minor arcana journey there. So I definitely feel in this energy It feels in this energy you are absolutely being guided. This is about you have the knowledge, the wisdom, the ideas from within and to pursue new hopes and dreams that will ultimately bring you greater material success and reward coming your way. But there's, there's this kind of energy of, yeah, yeah. I, I'm feeling, I mean, you could have spent some kind of alone time as well here, Gemini, but it is, it feels like you're being aligned here. 
this this sound judgment call is aligning you to what this is, which is the ten of pentacles, the goal achievement, greater material success, security. So the answers are from within in terms of how you need to take practical steps towards going for new hopes, new dreams, new wishes here. It feels quite poignant. I'm going to put that card down and I'm going to get a card for that ten of pentacles. Yeah. The Page of Pentacles, which is a message to do with career financial opportunity. But the page is all about, um, it can be to do with skills development. What do I have to learn? What are the practical things I have to do? Um, you know, what steps do I need to take? Because the page is in a, in a period of learning. It's not a knight, it's not a queen or a king. He's just at the very infancy of learning. So it's almost kind of like, yes, this can be to do with a message, to do with an opportunity, which it will be for some of you, but it might well be, what are the practical things that I need to consider to achieve this? And that's what I'm feeling that that home, that, that home energy is asking you to do. You're being illuminated from within on how to actually achieve greater material success, security, financial stability. Now, for some of you, the Four of Cups is a missed opportunity. And this is the advice from Spirit. It's the Divine Nudge card. So whatever this devil represented for you, it's time to take action. You're being nudged forward. You're being led in a specific direction here. You know, there are four cups open to this person, but only one has the hand of God, the divine, the universe. So you're being led. It's about giving deep thought to your situation and going within and finding the answer, the illumination on how you need to move forward, what path to take, what actions to take, how you need to take action now. Um, and that's what Spirit is telling you. You are being guided every step of the way. And it feels towards some powerful opportunity. I see this cup energy this can be somebody reaching out, offering you something. And with the Seven of Cups, it feels like there's real potential and possibility around you. So you're being told now is the time to take action. Do the practical things that you need to do. Some of you might need to develop some skills, uh, get qualifications. Some of you, you know, uh, you, you might have been doing this. I mean, some of you are different life stages. But there's definitely this energy of the practical things that you're doing here, what you're aligning to is aligning you with greater material success and goal achievement. Yeah, because the Six of Swords is a card of moving from difficulty to calmer waters, um, this releasing stress and anxiety and worry as well with this card. It's also a card of healing, healing finding direction, but detaching from whatever limitations and boundaries and tests that you felt with this devil so there's definitely an energy of overcoming whatever demons have been presented here and finding direction now there could be some news here uh, because it's mercurial energy there could be some news or information that's coming your way uh, you know that is allowing you to detach from troubles and to move towards calmer waters um, so yeah, I sometimes feel that with this energy and I'm feeling it now because this is the sword's energy, which is your energy, it's air energy. And this is about getting equilibrium back, restoring harmony in your life. So it feels for some of you, there's the progress that you've been wanting. There's a direction that you've been looking for. You're being guided towards and it feels, you know, there could be some news or information or somebody reaching out here offering you something, whatever it is, but what it is, it's allowing you to detach from difficulty and move towards calmer waters, better times ahead. And the chariot is winning over a challenged path. So there's definitely an energy of winning, a victory, success. This is a card of success and achievement by being determined, by taking control of a situation, by absolutely taking action. There's definitely action energies here. And it definitely feels for some of you by taking action, you are bringing some success, victory your way this month. Um, 
feels very connected with those two energies. So Gemini, it feels very beautiful. You have more options than you realize. There may well be some things that you need to consider to actually get the goal. Um, now is the time to ta ta start taking steps, you know, towards that path for you. And it feels in this situation, you will soon be putting difficulty behind you and there is some significant success coming your way, having trodden a difficult path. So this is a card of, of winning. It's a card of winning as well. Yeah. Very lovely energy. Very lovely energy indeed. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message for Gemini. Final message for Gemini, thank you. Yeah, we have the deer, trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. And I love that image, you know, because you see the ghost deer there's the ghost of a deer behind this. These are the two deers and they're being watched over. They're being watched over, guided. And you're being told to trust there because you're absolutely being watched over here. Ideas are coming to you this month that are divinely guided. So take note of ideas, intuitive nudges, um, opportunity presenting itself in order to get more it definitely feels more money, more monetary reward. Uh, because it definitely feels for some of you, there are options to consider. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Gemini, and I will see you next time. Thank you.